Welcome everybody to Denver Percussion. I'm Pete Hellyer and Josh Byers here. We're going to set up our brand new Reflections 5 octave marimba from Majestic. And if you were like us, you may have not received an instruction manual with your marimba. So we're gonna take you through how to set it up today and literally step you through the entire process. It's very simple. When you first open it up, we recommend you take everything out of the boxes, get all your bubble wrap and everything off of the instrument so that you can set it up very quickly. First thing, you'll notice that there are two base ends. One has a crossbar on the low side. The other has a crossbar higher. The low crossbar is your base end. The high crossbar is your high end. We recommend you set the wheel brakes, which will be facing the player. Next, you'll have a curved crossbar. Notice that there are large holes and small holes. The large holes are gonna go up in the base end. The straight piece then is your high end. Again, it has large holes and small holes. The large holes go up and connect into the base. We're gonna go ahead and put this together right now for you. Okay, so we're now gonna connect the middle piece. And I'd recommend putting the screw up. Because if you put the screw down, if something comes loose, you will never see it. If you put the screw from the top or from the bottom up, then you'll see if something goes wrong. Excellent. All right, so the next thing is you have the base truss, which you'll see has a lot more pegs in it. That's, those pegs are actually what support the resonators. And then you have your high end truss, which goes like this, they just connect together. And then there is a single screw, which looks like a bike screw, that connects them. This then sets directly into the frame. And locks into the posts that exist. You may have to bend the frame out a little bit to get it to set down. So in your package you'll find you've got a couple rods. One of them will have a different end than the other and that end actually can come out. So if you don't have it make sure that it's actually in your packaging somewhere. That's going to connect together in the center. You'll want to inspect and make sure that the end that you put with the base here is on the right side. Cool. All right, next up, we're gonna put in resonators. It doesn't really matter the order that you put the resonators in. We're gonna go ahead and start at the base end and then work our way up. Of course, accidentals are on this side and the naturals are on this other side. And the resonators just slide onto these posts that are nicely set up for you. There are times where the resonators may not slide as easily. Make sure everything's lined up and that you seat them all the way down until they're all the way as far down as they can go. You'll still see a little bit of black underneath the resonators, but that's totally fine. All right, next we're gonna put in the base rails so we can start at the base end. Although again, it does not matter what order you put these in. They just slide in and then they align with a screw that's actually built into the truss rail. We'll just screw those into place. While Josh is doing that, I'll get to the, the next one. So again, keeping in mind, these marimbas are designed to go through doors. If you need to, just take the bars off of this lower section. You can take this rail out, and you can take the lower two resonators out, and you can get through any size door with this marimba. The 
put on the natural bars, it's a little hard to see from these camera angles, but there is a post that hides on the rail. So these little lower pieces are going to hook into that post on the inside for the treble. The base side is going to hook onto the post on the outside. And then we'll go ahead and start putting the bars into place after that's done. Awesome. And there we have Majestic's Reflection Marimba. Thank you for watching.